Hello, friends. How are you? I hope all you are doing well and preparing for the next year civil services preliminary examination. That is 2021, which is going to be held on June 27th, as the date has already been announced by the UPSC in the last month. I hope all you are doing well and preparing well. Uh, if you count uh, the time, it is uh, now it is uh, four months and uh, next uh, six months. Hardly you will have ten months at your exposure, at your disposal. So I request you to kindly prepare for your examination with utmost sincerity, hard work, punctuality. Keep aside everything and decide. Whether you want to appear for the examination or not, and whether this is going to be your serious attempt or not, accordingly you prepare. Never feel that you have n number of attempts because at the earliest, if you join in the service, that is the best you are going to see in your career. So I request you to start your preparation. It uh, with utmost sincerity, hard work, and punctuality, and uh, in the coming weeks, and today, and in the coming weeks, we are going to discuss, debate. Uh, debating may not be possible. We will. Uh, I will discuss the current affairs uh, from Sunday to Saturday or Friday night, whatever is important. Uh, to the party people also to prepare one a specific email so that uh, you can contact me on that uh, email and whenever i find time i will try to clarify your doubts and i will uh, debate uh, if uh, certain issues are very important if i feel uh, that's how we will continue and uh, you please uh, have a clear mindset about civil services examination. Uh, you set aside uh, your time, you steal your time, maximum time you have to devote uh, for the examination. Uh, I advise you, I strongly suggest you to keep aside all kinds of uh, uh, maybe cultural functions or uh, relatives, uh, this birthday, that birthday, or death day, or this uh, karma that come, whatever may be uh, the time wasting things, uh, uh, you keep aside and steal the time from all other kinds of activities and uh, uh, keep Uh, do it as Agnya. Agnya, you know, now like uh, in our uh, ancient days, the rishis uh, they used to do, or uh, even the Buddhist monks also, after uh, uh, some time uh, after Buddha or after Jaina period, uh, they used to do, do the Agnya with the utmost concentration. They should not uh, uh, get up or go away from the Agnya in between if something happens also. Like that, you have to concentrate on your uh, preparation and uh, keep certain time for uh, uh, what you call revision also every day. Uh, every day there should be some time for revision. Every week there should be some time for revision and uh, every month also. And uh, uh, just before the uh, examination last month, I, I strongly advise you uh, as far as current affairs is concerned, if June 27th is the examination, you prepare the current affairs up to only May 31st. That is enough, sufficient. By that time, they will uh, set uh, uh, the uh, question paper and uh, after May 31st, it may not be required. So. Starting from June 1 to June 27th, you have to do only the revision, not only the current affairs, every other subject may be reasoning, it could be reasoning, it could be mental ability, or it could be or polity, history, uh, geography, anything else, it could be. You keep uh, the last month only for the sake of revision. Then uh, 
uh, it will come to your mind and if there are any flaws loopholes or any problems uh, then you will you can uh, plug it and you can uh, cover yourself uh, so that uh, in the last final week just before june 27th means uh, 20th to 26th uh, you will have the final revision and uh, uh, with uh, utmost like with uh, full of confidence i i am saying you i am telling you with the full confidence uh, you will go to the examination and uh, hopefully and with uh, everything you will crack that examination after that uh, if you have uh, some time in between also now starting from june to maximum no, no now it is uh, september i think september first week september first week say uh, say November last week or uh, December, you can concentrate on uh, mains examination also certain topics like uh, um, optional you can just have one revision or uh, a glance of general studies also after that uh, from January I strongly advise you suggest you and I recommend to you completely concentrate on preliminary examination. I repeat at the cost of time, please prepare for the civil services preliminary examination starting from the day today. If possible, please re uh, uh, study one optional also. You are going to crack the on june 27th that is up to december 31st of 2020 after that from january 1st that uh, five or six months you please completely concentrate uh, the first timers particularly i am advising you the first timers please concentrate completely 100 percent on the preliminary examination starting from january 1 2021 before that you can complete one optional and have a glance of general studies for the mains as well and uh, the second timers third timers i know they don't need this much elaboration they knew it how to prepare for themselves they can have uh, the preparation for mains examination up to december or january or february also after that uh, in the month of uh, march uh, they can start for preliminary examination or some people if they are so confident uh, they can start for from the month of april also for the rev revising uh, i i uh, am saying uh, it for uh, the seniors like seniors means the second attempt people third attempt or fourth attempt people whatever may be it is said and done never feel that you have n number of attempts yes some certain category people they have many attempts maybe up to 10 are also there or the maximum is uh, those days it was 30 years uh, for general people and for SEST people it was uh, 35 years so it is uh, actually in fact this n number of uh, infinite number of attempts is a big trap psychological trap i am telling you uh, from experience and from the experience of friends seniors juniors and surroundings and after observing many people i am telling you this number of attempts uh, infinite number of attempts up to the age of 35 years is uh, a big trap because the retirement is is certain that is 60 years though they are saying 60 years and nowadays the government has changed uh, its view perspective certain people it may retire uh, before uh, even 55 or 50 years also so at the earliest if you join in the service that is the best for your career and for your uh, life your family and for your near and dear also so this is introduction class uh, i will teach you the current affairs also but before that i would like to tell which is uh, very important for your examination and for your career and for life so uh, let me introduce myself uh, i am nelapatla ashok babu belongs to indian revenue service that is irs 
working as a joint commissioner of income tax in pune so i have an interest in teaching also so i approached the bharti people they consented it and uh, now i am here before you so uh, from my own experience i am telling you that uh, number of attempts infinite number of attempts is a big trap so every attempt is a very precious attempt and feel that this is the final attempt of yours and you are not going to write this examination anymore i repeat every time or uh, for example if you are appearing for 2021 exam to feel that this is your final attempt and you are you you won't have any more attempt then you will take it very seriously and you will take it as very challenge and uh, you concentrate uh, 100% on your examination and uh, there are uh, plenty chances or uh, full of chances to crack that examination otherwise if you feel that you have more number of attempts uh, that uh, casual mindset will come into your uh, mind and you will feel that okay let it go this year and next year i will prepare and next year also you will feel in the same manner and it will go on go on and go on and the age uh, limit will be exceeded or you may not uh, get because for the success uh, in the civil service ex examination many factors are required many factors come to your uh, uh, what you call uh, come to your luck or uh, come to your uh, satisfaction then only finally 100% will uh be there and you will your name will be figured in the successful candidates list so every circumstances will also uh, be changed and uh, we don't know what may happen in our personal life also in your uh, family life also in your career also or we don't know what may happen in the next year in the pattern of examination also it is not that i am not uh, threatening you i am every attempt is a final attempt every attempt is very important attempt so so please take it very seriously don't uh, wait for the next year don't wait for the next attempt see while preparing for uh, current affairs see you have to have uh the concentration on your surroundings first surroundings in telugu it is known as parisarala vijnanam that is a sanskrit word uh, too parisarala vijnan the vijnan of your surroundings see what is going on in our surroundings that is very important generally the general knowledge is the basis for the current affairs the general knowledge is the basis for uh, our current affairs the general knowledge is basis for our general studies the general knowledge is the basis for uh, many of the subjects in our civil services examination as far as general studies is concerned so how we will get that uh, general knowledge first uh, to get the general studies or current affairs part of uh, the general studies general knowledge is important how we will get general knowledge for, by observing the surroundings keenly how to observe the surroundings see you uh, mug up your uh, the syllabus first civil if you are appearing for preliminary examination you mug up uh, uh, your uh, uh, preliminary syllabus if you are appearing for uh, mains examination you mug up mug up means by hearting uh, by heart your uh, syllabus uh, Uh, so that uh, everything come uh, to in your mind see whatever you see from your surroundings uh, like uh, while you are traveling in air uh, uh, see uh, there are many layers as per geography see current affairs uh, is conglomeration or uh, uh, a, a group like it's a, a mixture of uh, all other subjects it is uh, in current affairs there is polity in current affairs there is uh, economy current economy current polity current science and technology everything is there in the current affairs most of the times upsc wants to ask the current economy suppose if uh, 
uh, in the question paper there are uh, 20 questions on economy so they will ask 15 questions from the current economy only five questions they may ask from the stock economy economics or economy like a standard economy what is gdp what is the NP? what is uh, this rate what is that rate what is this graph uh, and uh, what is that uh, graph uh, they may ask uh, only out of 20 questions for a, for instance it's not uh, fixed if they are asking 20 questions from economy they will ask only five questions from the stock economy rest of the 15 questions they will uh, what is uh, uh, who have won the nobel Pri prize for economics this year and uh, what is uh, his subject and what were the books written by him and like that what is the like uh, some economic packages may be announced by the government of india something like that uh, they will ask current economy is important like that in polity also current polity is important when compared to the uh, regular stock uh, polity like that science and technology also the recent developments in the science and technology is very important when compared to the already stock or already known science and technology that's how this current affairs is uh, uh, what you call a thread in the garland garland means uh, you know no, garland so all other uh, subjects are uh, flowers and uh, this current affairs uh, it uh, connects uh, everything like a thread in the garland so every day we need to uh, listen to the news either in uh, any news channel or uh, nowadays uh, because of uh, this uh, technology is uh, increased improved modernized so wherever you go or wherever you are staying most of the students uh, from pune they went uh, they have gone to their homes i heard so if you are uh, there in your there in your village there in your village uh, then you can uh, listen to all india radio news also and uh, uh, dd news if you have tv you can uh, listen to dd news doordarshan news these are authentic their own uh, subjectivity they take the sides you see private channels uh, they have their own uh, purpose they have their own profit motive and uh, they take sides of uh, this political party or that political party or uh, this person is good that person is not so good like that they may say but uh, government uh, channels uh, they never do like that they give the standard authentic uh, news for instance uh, recently one uh, of the very 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 important uh, person of our country uh, passed away very recently but even before that one week before all private channels all private news agencies uh, they said uh, he was passed away but it was not correct and uh, finally his uh, son had to come to the media and he uh, social media sorry social media and he tweeted himself Are, no my father is still alive why are you saying like this so then uh, they withdrew all that news that was not done by dd news that was not done by all india radio news that is the best and perfect example what is the standard why it is considered as a standard all india radio is standard why why dd news is a standard this example is the best example they broadcast the news only after they confirm they verify they after they verify and they confirm and they see then only they broadcast or air the news so my strong advice to the students who have already gone to the villages from pune or from mumbai or elsewhere and they could not afford to come to the city and to stay back kindly follow radio news or 
dd news doordarshan news which is uh, simply available wherever you go even if you want to go outside or you are going for uh, some swimming in your uh, canal in your village <laughs> there also you can go and keep it on and while swimming or while or doing anything also you can listen to the news in uh, all india radio that is the uh, first and foremost thing of uh, uh, the utility of all india radio and the standardness and the benefit and uh, the correctness of the news uh, news uh, and uh, from news only you will get the current affairs and at the same time i would like to tell you whatever may be the day maybe uh, you are uh, appearing for mpsc examinations also or some people might be appearing for uh, their academics also see make it a habit to re uh, to read the newspaper and uh, to listen to the news or to watch the news make it a hobby you see hardly out of 24 hours say 6 hours we will sleep minimum then uh, uh, 18 hours are at our disposal then uh, maximum hours we can study and for the sake of relaxation you make it a habit to listen to the news even that is uh, the examination day also i used to do like that i am not saying out of my experience i am not saying uh, just like that i am saying uh, from my own experience whatever may be the day you try to listen to the news or watch the news on dd channel so, so that uh, it will go into your mind and uh, it will form a strong foundation of general knowledge in your mind see general knowledge is what so many uh, these uh, magazines they publish what uh, at the end of uh, Uh, the magazine the last 10 pages they devote uh, to the who is who places in news persons in news places in news persons in news uh, uh, who is who then uh, uh, obituary means tribute uh, the persons who such news uh, they take or anyone they take it from the news only so if you are uh, listening to the news or if you are watching to the news daily there is no need of going through that uh, competitive magazine again because uh, the same thing will be reproduced so by listening to the news or by watching to the news and by making it as a regular hobby and a habit you will form you will form a strong foundation of uh, general knowledge in you and uh, that general knowledge will uh, take you to the strong uh, foundation of general studies for example in general studies first paper of 2000 main examination they have asked about stefy graph chris evert lloyd and then uh, pv and uh, manmohan formula see these three examples i would like to dwell so these are uh, nothing to do with the general studies of uh, 2000 examination but it is uh, a part of gk general knowledge how the stefy graph uh, by that time she was retired from the uh, tennis or if i am not so correct maybe not so actively participating in tennis uh, by 2000 but they have asked they had asked who is stefy graph so stefy graph was uh, a an eminent tennis player who won all kind all four grand slams and including uh the gold medal of uh, the seoul olympics also so that's how it happened it happened in long time back in 1988 in my childhood but because of uh, we have been listening to the news and it is there in our mind we could able to write that uh, very well stefy graf is uh, an eminent tennis player 
who won the four grand slams including australian french open uh, wimbledon and us open and besides that she won gold medal in 1988 uh, seoul olympics also like that they have asked about chris evert lloyd also chris evert lloyd see very long time back retired in i think in 87 or 88 she got retired from the tennis but they asked that is that is that comes under general knowledge she general knowledge also forms part of her gs they it won't be mentioned in the syllabus it won't be mentioned in the syllabus of upsc but uh, they ask some questions like that so we should uh, make a strong foundation see it may not be possible for uh, the candidates who are immediately appearing for the examination but uh, if the listeners uh, who are very young and uh, college students or high school students uh, i would like to advise them very sincerely to follow this uh, news uh, Uh, reading of the news or watching of the news or listening of the news uh, regularly so that it will go to their mind and it will form part of their uh, general knowledge and general knowledge is one of the part of the general studies and the general knowledge is a part of current affairs that's what i would like to say and uh, even uh, coming to the example of uh, pv rao formula also P. V. Narasimharao was the Prime Minister of India from 1991 to 96, and uh, uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh was the Finance Minister in his cabinet from 1991 to 96. By the time of examination, uh, say October uh, 2020, uh, 2000, October 2000, they were not in power. and they were not in uh, so like uh, important uh, key positions also but uh, out of general knowledge as a part of general studies in the mains examination of 2000 examination they have asked what is pv and uh, uh, rao and uh, manmohan formula so that's how uh, whosoever were uh, very well versed with the general knowledge Whoso, uh, whosoever were uh, uh, having that uh, command over general knowledge, uh, daily current affairs, they could be able to write uh, that kind of uh, questions uh, very well. So I request you once again. I see my all efforts are uh, uh, to emphasize on one point, so that uh, you will start. Uh, Uh, to listen to the news or to watch uh, the news or to read the news you see reading of the news nowadays uh, is not like uh, before social media days those days uh, we used to wait for the hindu newspaper uh, the next day then we used to read uh, very seriously underlining cutting of the newspapers uh, then filing of the news news important news items but nowadays uh, i think it is uh, not so relevant because the news happened half an hour back or 10 minutes back immediately it is appearing in the social media at the sa- same time i caution you against to follow the social media social media is uh, only for the sake of or for the purpose of or for the intention of uh, current affairs only you have to follow not all unnecessary stuff uh, don't keep in your mobile or in your laptop or in your uh, mind all unnecessary things only i request you simultaneously while listening to the news while watching uh, the news uh, on dd simultaneously you can follow the uh, accounts of the government accounts of the government like uh, we can follow the pmo prime minister's office you can follow the defense minister you can follow the finance minister you can follow the president of india you can follow the vice examinations mpsc you follow your chief minister
is the trend i have observed uh, they are immediately uploading whatever is happened imported in see in the uh, like uh, accounts of uh, social media of the key functionaries they don't upload any political news or to person or personal vendetta they don't do only they will upload the government policies government uh, programs government functions rules regulations what is going on very important in the country or in the state uh, like that they will upload uh, from there you can uh, take out what is very important the schemes uh, you can follow the programs you can follow and those are only will form part of uh, some questions uh, in the civil services preliminary examination as well as the mains examination and uh, uh, i also advise you to change your mindset to uh, be a neutral to be neutral you see we are going to be the civil servants means a, a top grade of the government servants are known as the civil servants we need not to follow any particular party even if we have like uh, inclination for a particular party that should be taken away from our mind now we should be very neutral we are servants what servants government servants what the servant will do see the servant in our home she comes and uh, do the duty whatever we say and she won't say her own mindset and she won't uh, do whatever she wants like that government servants also has to implement what is the policy of the government of the day even if you are uh, against that particular party personally or even if you are uh, not liking that particular person as uh, the prime minister or chief minister or any other but uh, you are a government servant you have no choice you have to follow you have to implement you have to complete the task given by the uh, by the government as a servant so you have to change your mindset even while reading newspapers also while reading newspapers you have to follow the current affairs topic particularly from the point of view of the government policies government program the constitution any act uh, is uh, happened by the key functionaries of the government like president prime minister ministers or the chief minister or the governor or what the attorney general is saying what the advocate general is saying what uh, uh, the other uh, like uh, see uh, there is an uh, you know, appointment of gc uh, murmu sir as a uh, uh, comptroller and auditor general so under which articles uh, the articles which deals with the functions of the controller and auditor general of indian constitution we have to see that while uh, listening to the news immediately it click into it flash into our mind oh that uh, that many that uh, article number this to that uh, deals with the controller and auditor general in indian constitution yes uh, remembering the name of the person is also very important but uh, they will ask very rarely who is controller and auditor general they will ask uh, the standard of upsc is in such a way that the functions they will ask what he is not supposed to do they may ask what he is supposed to do they may ask and uh, they may ask in such a way that uh, the following constitutional authorities which are required to take oath before they assume the responsibility like that you see upsc members are also constitutional authorities but they are not uh, art they are not art to take uh, any oath but comptroller and auditor general is uh, supposed to take the oath at the same time the other functionaries are also there, like uh, chief information commissioner 
I think it is not uh, there in the constitution, but uh, he has to take the vote. Like that, the question UPSC very rarely asks the direct questions. UPSC asks the complex of questions. Means uh, uh, to answer a single question, you need to have four or five points correctly in your mind. Like that, uh, they will ask which of the following are not correct. So you need to know which of the following are correct. Then only you will you can identify which is not correct. And uh, they may ask the uh, matching of the match uh, match the following type match the following type. Out of uh, five match the following, you need to know at least three combinations. Then only you will come to know what is the uh, right answer. Like that, uh, uh, we have been discussing to follow the social media. Coming back to the point of. Uh, following the social media, it is very important uh, nowadays to follow the media with uh, only government accounts. Uh, as I told, the important uh, functionaries of the government, important portfolios of the government. So uh, immediately they are uh, uploading, immediately they are uh, uh, uploading it and they are uh, like posting it. So you just go through it uh, and if necessary, if necessary, you see, some many people, they waste their time uh, on writing the notes. Writing notes is not so important. Uh, this is my personal observation. But uh, keeping uh, notes, uh, everything in your mind is very important. But to organize uh, all the things, uh, uh, you can write, uh, you can uh, prepare a short kind of notes, but don't... Uh, uh, like devote uh, most of your time in writing, writing, writing only, but uh, getting the crux of the point is very important. Like that, uh, you follow the social media so that uh, you will get the important uh, programs, functions, uh, policies, acts, rules of the government. Most of the time, uh, uh, in the economy, in the polity, in the current affairs, uh, the questions related to the government it may come mainly and uh, you need to know all those uh, programs and policies like uh, what patient policy is there so you need to know what is the old education policy also like pt6 when uh, uh, Rajiv Gandhi was the Prime Minister and uh, P.V. Narasimhara was uh, the Education Minister, means uh, HRD Minister. So you knew, you should know what is the policy of education in 1986 also. So uh, they may ask what are the major uh, distinctions uh, or differences uh, between education policy, a uh, new education policy of uh, 2020 and uh, education new it uh, the then education policy of 1986 1986 also they may ask like that uh, so in order to uh, reply it correctly or uh, to choose the correct answer you need to know uh, both the uh, education policies of 1996 and uh, 2020 also in such a way that uh, you have to follow the current affairs make it a regular habit a regular hobby and enjoy it uh, uh, while reading while listening and uh, another important thing you have to uh, uh, prime minister gives uh, speeches uh, uh, from the uh, red fort uh, uh, then on August 15th, uh, then uh, uh, President gives uh, addresses the nation on the evening on the eve of uh, Independence Day, and uh, on the eve of uh, Republic Day also the President addresses the nation. See these uh, addresses uh, you have to listen, if not uh, at least directly or after some time. Better to have attention and listen to them. So that the crux of the wars, see, for example, on August 15th, uh, 
uh, this year the prime minister said uh, certain words like atmanirbhar uh, certain words i will tell you in the next session i forgot uh, for the time being so certain words uh, they may form part of uh, your uh, essay question paper in the mains examination many times it happened whatever they say the crux or that uh, important uh, terminology or important words uh, or few sentences they may take it as it is and they will ask uh, to write an essay on that uh, in the mains examination so you please uh, develop a habit of read uh, not only reading the newspaper uh, listening to the news or watching the news uh, and uh, you have to develop a habit or hobby of uh, listening to the president and prime minister also see not only uh, on august 15th uh, recent times our uh, honorable prime minister have been addressing the nation many times so those important points those important key words those important uh, those uh, uh, sentences uh, you have to remember and uh, so many times uh, on uh, august 13th he announced uh, uh, a scheme known as honoring the honest so it is the structural reforms uh, in the income tax department uh, income tax department forms uh, direct taxes in income tax is direct taxes and uh, gst uh, the erstwhile central tax and state sales tax uh, they form part of indirect taxes income tax is direct tax gst uh, central excise customs or sales tax or indirect taxes so he had announced a scheme known as a scheme means a, a flagship agenda of the government honoring the honest on august 13th that kind of speeches you have to listen then you need not to go through it in the newspaper or then again current affairs magazine then again some very important kind of notes nowadays i heard from some students they are giving some very important kind of general knowledge of what this i don't understand this kind of thing is not good you have to have a broad mind to grasp or to read don't go for important don't go don't study this examination like an academic examination yes i know some people they have studied uh, this examination like uh, academic examination they mugged up this uh, and uh, they cracked this exam also <laughs> but uh, they don't know what to do on the field because they don't have any vision they don't have any like objective in their uh, uh, career they just came uh, taking this uh, services as a career just like uh, while applying for any other examination they have applied for this exam also and uh, with the capacity of uh, by hearting or mugging up uh, they got through and interview they got good marks by god's grace or by whatever and uh, they are in the positions and but they don't know what to do on the field they don't know the proactive approach and uh, uh, they lack uh, the vision they lack the vision always so that's why you need to have a vision in your personal life also if you become ias what will you do if you become ips what will you do if you become irs what will you do what you what uh, uh, if you become ifs indian foreign service officer and what if you become customs uh, uh, commissioner see there are uh, every service is very important like uh, a thumb is important to do any activity without thumb uh, all these uh, four are four uh, uh, fingers are not useful but at the same time these fingers are also important like that every service is important every service has its own pros and cons important significance so you need to have a vision what is this service first 
what is IAS, what is IPS, what is IRS, or what is IFS, and what is IP, uh, other services, then what uh, if you become, you see, hardly if you crack this examination in the next year, by 2022, you are in the service. After a uh, few months uh, of uh, training, the uh, foundation training uh, at Masuri, if you are IAS, uh, you will be there in the field in 2023. So you need to have a vision. What, what you are supposed to do, what you have to do, what will you do in extraordinary circumstances, in unexpected circumstances. So you have to be very proactive. See, many people are, are not proactive. They are doing these services are also like jobs, like 10 to 6. After 6 o'clock, they are see keeping their bag in the vehicle and they are going and till the next day morning, they are in the in the, at their home. <laughs> see, this is not the service. That's why it, this is known as civil services. Service is uh, you are uh, there uh, in the service for 24 hours. No fixed hours. Don't feel that there is only 10 to 5 or 10 to 6. Uh, unfortunately, many people are doing like that only 10 to 6. Uh, it's a very unfortunate thing. But uh, it is the civil services are not meant for 10 to 6. You have to be proactive or you have to be uh, very responsive or you have to go or attend any duty at any time. Not to tell uh, your constables to go, just watch there. I may come tomorrow morning. That is not correct. You see, from since beginning, I exhort you. I am telling you, be uh, prepared in your mind, in your mind, in your body, in your spirit. Uh, by all means, uh, this is 24 hours job, not exactly 24 hours, but whenever it is necessary, you have to be there, not your subordinates or only daytime I will appear for the duties. That is not good. And you think proactively. Proactively means what? I will give you a small example. What is proactiveness? If one guest comes to our home, if he asks water, see then besides giving water, we should ask for, uh, are you, uh, do you want to fresh up yourself? And then after he fresh, fresh up himself, then we need to serve the food also after, by seeing his body language. Yes, he is uh, um, uh, feeling thirsty and he is hungry. That is proactiveness. If you give only water, because he has uh, asked water, if you give only water and is sitting silently, that is job. That is not required. To do job in the civil services, that you, you, are, you are not required. You are required to be proactive in your services, proactive in your uh, duties, in your functions. As I said, uh, once after seeing uh, his thirsty face, his, th uh, his hungry bo body language, we have to serve his, uh, him the water, besides water, the food uh, and everything also. That is proactiveness. See, when the person comes to your office, when one person comes to your office with some, uh, uh, what you call, uh, some request, you have to take care of every aspect of him. And uh, you have to dispose uh, all the memorandums of that day, that day only. As it is said, proverbial saying, today's uh, job is uh, now and tomorrow's uh, job is Today, we have to complete the task. Tomorrow's, uh, today's is now only, now only, and uh, tomorrow's today. Like that, uh, we have to be very proactive. Then uh, we can uh, give good services uh, to this country and to our community and to our family and to uh, see everyone in this world. Coming to the point of uh, different services are uh, very important. Uh, so you need to know everything. You study the syllabus first, uh, then uh, you take care of your current affairs, GS, uh, and every optional also. And then uh, 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 listening to the key functionaries like uh, prime minister and president, then they will from their speeches, you will get the good ideas uh, for the essay examination. 
and uh, for the current affairs also sometimes it may be useful or to have good vision it is important uh, and uh, uh you need to have uh, neutrality in your mindset uh, proactiveness in your mindset and uh, proactive responsibility in your mindset uh, then uh, 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 current affairs you need to read uh, daily uh, for example uh, huh. uh, another thing i would like to share uh, uh, the uh, general knowledge comes uh, our general studies comes from your surroundings keen observation of surroundings is very important so if you visit uh, bombay for example mumbai you are visiting then uh, being an aspirant of uh, upsc civil services examination you need to visit uh, some historical places you need not to go around uh, that marine drive or some uh, cine studios uh, if you have time it's okay but as an aspirant having only 10 month 10 months at your uh, before you and uh, then you have every minute every second every day you have to calculate and uh, accordingly you have to behave steal time from all functions no need to attend uh, this function that function this birthday that birthday that this death day, that death day. No, strictly, you should be a Marxist. You should be a Marxist. M A R K I S T. Marxist, not Marxist, not C P I Marxist. Marxist. How? See, from every aspect, from everything, from every person, you should get any some point, something which will be added to your marks in the examination. Like that, I advised you, if you go to Mumbai to visit that, or if you go, go around Pune, you have to visit the historical places. For example, Govalkar uh, tank is there in uh, Mumbai, where uh, Mahatma Gandhi uh, launched the popular uh, Quit India movement, uh, do or die from the dais of that uh, uh, Maidan only, he said that. So you have to go there. You visit it, you feel that, you feel that how, Acha, maybe here uh, he sat and he would have addressed it like this, like that. Uh, nearby only there is one school, uh, I forgot for the time being, I will uh, tell you in the coming classes. There is one school where uh, uh, in 1985 the Indian National Congress was uh, launched by Evo Hume. So that uh, school also you can visit. Then uh, Mahatma Gandhi residence is there nearby. Mahatma Gandhi residence you can visit. Uh, then now uh, museums are there. Chhatrapati Shivaji Memorial Museum is there. Then uh, some art gallery is there. Like that, uh, you have to give priority to the places of uh, history, our culture, our uh, polity, our uh, economy. Uh, you go around to RBI, you see, you feel it, uh, Reserve Bank of India is there in Mumbai. For example, we are discussing about, if we visit Mumbai, what we should uh, see as an aspirant of UPSC. So you should see all these things, uh, RBI, Reserve Bank of India, then uh, Gateway of India. When you go to Gateway of India, you have to see the years uh, scribed there also. I think it is 1911. 1911. And uh, what is the difference between uh, India Gate and Gateway of India? Where is India Gate? Where is uh, Gateway of India? See, this is the keen observation of your surroundings. From your uh, surroundings only, the general knowledge comes. And the general knowledge is form part of uh, your general studies. What is the difference between Gateway of India and uh, um, India Gate. India Gate is in uh, Delhi and uh, in under what you should know and Gateway of India under what circumstances it built and uh, in which year it was built uh, you should know and then now uh, uh, this Taj Mahal Hotel how uh, the terrorist attack it happened 
you, you need not to listen uh, to all those uh, how it happened what was the organization attacked on uh, taj mahal hotel from where uh, uh, they entered into sea which uh, city of uh, pakistan they entered into sea in which kind of boat then uh, where uh, they uh, entered into india that place name then how they came and how they attacked what was the motive behind their attacks how it was intercepted by intelligence uh, organizations of india then how the kasab trail happened who was the public prosecutor then um, how then uh, in which jail he was uh, like uh, his uh, death penalty was executed all those things uh, from examination point of view you have to see even if you go to mahabaleshwar also or that uh, surrounding areas uh, what is the significance of uh, mahabaleshwar it is the origin of river krishna uh, uh river krishna if you go to nashik it is the origin of river godavari you have to see from that point of view general knowledge point of view it's not just like that going around roaming around just uh, here and there time pass and coming back no even if you go to some places also you have to see that also what is the significance of uh, that place from history is there any historical significance is there any geographical significance is there any cultural significance like that what are the temples were there in nashik are there in nashik what are the gohas there uh, that uh, caves in there in nashik you have to see all that uh, from that perspective you have to examine every city historical significance cultural significance religious significance then uh, you need to have neutral mind uh, with all religions also what is the difference between uh, shias and sunnis muharram recently happened day before yesterday or one day before of day before yesterday so then uh, oh, who are these kind of uh, uh, like followers of islam and uh, who are uh, shias who are uh, sunnis and uh, some kind of other uh, people are also there in pune in uh, here and around uh, who are they called they are called bori muslims uh, from where uh, they are hailed from and uh, what kind of a difference between these uh, two or three sects uh, what is the historical significance behind this uh, and uh, where the uh, religion of islam was born how it came to india then uh, in uh, mumbai there are parsis also from which part they entered into india in which year under whose rule what was the contract between them and the then ruler and how, what is the population of uh, parsis now see 2021 uh, is going to be a very important year from the census point of view every 10 years they will give they will uh, give one census for uh, our country so 2021 uh, they are going to give full census census work is going on so from that point of view how many parsis are there in mo uh, the parsis are there quite presence uh, of uh, parsis parsis are there uh, is uh, in maharashtra mainly in mumbai and uh, pune and some other parts of this maharashtra so you have to have a fair idea of uh, all kinds of religions then uh, how many are there what are the problems they are facing why the uh, total number of parsis are uh, uh, is uh, declined if you are the municipal commissioner of uh, mumbai what will you do or if you are the religious affairs minister of maharashtra what will you do so this kind of questions uh, you need to have it should be ready in your mind they may be asked in mains examination also or uh, they may ask uh, the same questions in your interview also after seeing that if you are from mumbai or if you are from uh, maharashtra the board members they may ask uh, if you are uh, the commissioner of uh, bombay municipal corporation what are the what are your priorities to protect to increase 
the numbers of uh, courses in your city or in, like that they may ask so it is a, a full comprehensive approach civil services examination is a uh, not uh, one particular point of view or only this angle only this textbook only this guide or these very important chapters i will read and i will get through yes there are many people as we discussed already there are many people like that they got through it they are in the positions but uh, they are doing jobs not these services if you want to do service uh, you develop uh, your knowledge your approach your attitude everything from 360 degrees uh, perspective and uh, have political neutrality and proactive approach and um, all those things see i would like to uh, discuss uh, certain uh, important issues uh, what happened in the last uh, two or three weeks uh, from that so for example say uh, from the portals of uh, the red fort uh, prime minister has announced uh, two or three important uh, programs that may appear uh, in our prelims examination we have to see from that point of view see one is uh, he wants to train uh, a force of uh, national cadet corps ncc students of 1 lakh strength of 1 lakh from the border districts as well as the coastal districts see that's why you always keep if you see there is a world map and there is a india map wherever you are wherever you are it may be your house or it may be you are in room or it may be you need some academy like mumbai uh, near uh, the chhatrapati shivaji terminus i saw one coaching center is there so wherever you are you keep uh, this uh, india map as our country and if you are appearing for mpsc examination your state map also and uh, for both the candidates world map is important and while listening to the news or while watching the news for example there was a big uh, bomb blast or bomb blast name some blast happened in beirut lebanon's capital uh, uh lebanon's capital beirut in the last one week or uh, two weeks back so immediately you go through you go to the world map and see yes this is beirut this is Damascus, this is Tel Aviv, this is like that. You see the map. Once you are uh, uh, seeing that map while listening to the news or while watching the news, it will be imprinted forever in your mind. See, while uh, after one week or one month, uh, again, if you are taking competition success review or uh, civil services chronicle or some other magazine and reading that, uh, it may not uh, entrench it into your mind, but uh, while listening to the news or by watching the TV, if you look at that point, it will be ever there forever in your mind. I take it for granted, my words. So like that, you have to have your uh, these uh, maps also in your uh, at your uh, home or at your uh, room or at your hostel immediately you point it out and uh, develop the general knowledge who is who and what is what all capitals all capitals uh, capitals of the all states capital of the all countries uh, the, in this uh, currencies languages flags many times the upsc is very much interested uh, in uh, the knowing your geographical skills how many states are bordering with the nepal they will ask like that in india how many states are bordering with nepal one is uttarakhand then uttar pradesh then bihar like that and uh, west bengal and uh, sikkim also like that you have to have a memory in your mind as an aspirant appearing for the examination uh, from uh, north to south, uh, which uh, states are lie, uh, in the descending order, from south to north, which states are in ascending order, from east to west, from e west to east, they will ask like that. 
so you uh, improve your general knowledge by learning all state capitals country's capitals languages currencies then uh, everything um, prime ministers presidents uh, uh, and everything like uh, so prime minister announced that today he wants to develop uh, one lakh uh, force of uh, national cadet corps ncc with the help of training from uh, army wherever it is has bases and uh, navy wherever it has bases the coastal districts they will have the coastal districts they will have the naval bases navy will train them and in the border districts and in the border districts it is not seen uh, in the border districts uh, the military army indian army will train them already the work started uh, in gujarat and ladakh and um, there are many recent uh, things happened and he also announced that day national digital health mission before that uh, we used to have national rural health mission and uh, national urban health mission i think they are continuing but besides uh, that uh, he wants to have this national digital health mission also so every person's health record will be there in that national digital health mission uh, what is your name what is your age what uh, you have been undergone before that any kind of surgeries or any kind of processes or any kind of interventions what are your units like your bp things your sugar things your uh, all everything will be digitalized and uh, this corona uh, above and all uh, uh, make it compulsory for everyone to use uh, this uh, digital knowledge whether you like or not you see now students are forced to stay at their home and they are learning everything from the uh, laptop or from the mobile like that uh, it goes to the villages also if uh, the corona effect continues uh, maybe it may continue till December or so, or it may continue after. We don't know how far it will be there. Or you have to have the knowledge of digital science, so they want to make it uh, everything in digital. So national digital health mission. What are the important features? We will learn in the coming uh, classes. So, so such things you have to grasp from his from his speech. So why I am asking you to listen to the president's speech or prime minister's speech? Uh, this is very important. He has announced one day national digital health mission, one uh, one lakh forces of national uh, cadet corps like that. So you have to uh, have that fair idea and important. So Im immediately you make a notes or you keep it in your mind. And uh, certainly it will appear in the examination, if not in UPSC, in some other examination. These questions, one lakh cops of uh, uh, this NCC. And uh, uh, like, for example, in NCC, they may ask, uh, how many people, uh, what are the facts? Question will be like this. What are the following facts correct regarding the national uh, NCC? announced by the prime minister on august 15th one minute. number one one uh, they are going to train for uh, one lakh candidates number two it applicable to all districts and uh, the training will be given by the army uh, so these three points uh, so what is correct uh, the NCC, they are going to raise 1 lakh cops. That is correct. Second thing, it is applicable to all districts. That is wrong. This is applicable only to the districts of border districts, means bordering Nepal or Bangladesh or Myanmar or uh, uh, Bhutan or uh, China or uh, uh, Pakistan. Bordering district and coastal districts. It is not applicable to all districts like that. And uh, the army is not going to train uh, each and every candidate. Wherever the coastal districts are there, naval bases are there, the navy officers are going to train the NCC candidates in coastal districts, like that. So we have to have complete facts in your uh, hand. 
then only you can answer a one particular question completely that is the style nature attitude aptitude of the upsc it is not a straight away questions they won't ask simply india got independence in which year 1947 1950 1956 1935 like our state examination these state commissions they ask like that once upon a time in andhra pradesh state what you call public service commission the history paper it came in such a way easy that the question was like this where is the Taj Mahal? Agra, Colombo, Karachi, Dhaka. Agra, very simple. So like that, uh, UPSC won't ask this way. It's easy questions or straight away questions. Maximum, maybe one or two, it will figure straight away questions. Maximum questions, 95% of questions are complex questions. If you know about any concept or about any issue or about any point or about any person comprehensively, then only you will be able to answer. So while preparing ourselves, we should be keeping all these facts in our mind. That's why I have given you one small example of NCC. At the cost of repetition, I would like to say, like we have to prepare the program has been announced from the Red Fort on August 15th by the Prime Minister of India. First point. Second point, it will raise a corpse of one lakh, a force of one lakh of students of degree or some other universities, degree and undergraduate and graduates or postgraduates one lakh strength and uh, from the coastal districts and the, and the border districts wherever it is applicable like uh, in the coastal districts they will be trained by the navy in the border districts they will be trained by the army these five points you see if you know the five points then you can answer that question exactly very well and correctly like that you have to prepare yourself and coming to the point of uh, next, uh, then no, see, uh, the government uh, policies are very important. Always, uh, always the prime minister says, Atmanir Bhar Bharat, Sresht Bharat Ek Bharat. Then, what uh, uh, one, one uh, ration card? Uh, uh for uh, one nation one ration card for one nation atmanir bhar bharat shreshth ne uh, atmanir bhar bharat shreshth bharat ek bharat then uh, there are many other things you see during this lockdown period and after that also there is a mission of uh, vande bharat mission what is vande bharat mission what is uh, uh, this uh, sagar setu See, you have to learn all these things. What is Vande Bharat Mission? There are uh, some stranded uh, Indian uh, people, citizens in other countries due to lockdown in their country and due to lockdown in our country. So they have been uh, brought to this country with the help of Air India and some other uh, uh, Air India only, mainly to this country. That is known as Vande Bharat Mission like that setu sagar setu what is sagar setu the same thing like the people citizens stranded uh, in some other countries like mauritius maldives they were brought uh, by the naval ship uh, this uh, this ships uh, from those countries to india that is known as sagar setu like that you have to uh, develop your current affairs while listening to the news or watching the news uh, and uh, at the same time vocal for local made in india then uh, 
so who is who is also very important obituary is very important recently many people died important people preliminary examination and in mains also for uh, uh, there is a question of 30 words uh, these people they may ask like uh, our uh, former president pranam mukherjee passed away and then uh, one uh, uh, lyricist and uh, poet uh, uh, indori passed away then uh, pandit jasras passed away so uh, you need to have a fair idea about them like uh, prime uh, this uh, pranam mukherjee sir so uh, he was a uh, former prime uh, president of uh, india then uh, he was uh, the finance minister with indira gandhi as well uh, under dr manmohan singh also then he held the portfolios of defense external affairs and uh, he had been the vice chairman of the planning commission also in 1990s they may ask all these things which of the following facts are correct about the pram uh, former uh, president of uh, pranam mukherjee we need to know all these things we have to identify if something is not correct which of the following are not correct then we have to identify which is not correct if we, uh, we if they ask which is uh, of the following are correct then we need to identify which is which are the statements only correct then accordingly we have to identify and we have to tick mark that in that uh, answer sheet like that uh, uh, while reading we can identify which uh, are the points very important which are the points are not important uh, then uh, coming to uh, before uh, two weeks back uh, there was an optical fiber cable laid down from uh, chennai to andaman nicobar island they will ask uh, what is that length which company laid uh, then uh, Uh, like that they will ask see and uh, prime minister had announced uh, the same uh, he will take up the project to the other islands also lakshadweep island and uh, then within the 100 days uh, he is going to take up that optical fiber cable network uh, to the lakshadweep also not only to the andaman nicobar islands like that and many other things uh, we need to uh, know whenever it comes to the festival of august 15th that is india independence day or republic day what is the difference between independence this is very basic appears to be but uh, they will ask some typical questions some complex questions uh, like uh, uh, what are the colors in national flag uh, then uh, how many spokes are there in the um, uh, shokan wheel which is there in, in, in the national flag what is the national symbol what is the national flag, uh, bird, national animal? Uh, national animal is uh, the Royal Bengal Tiger. You should know that Royal Bengal Tiger. Similarly, uh, on the lines of uh, Project Tiger and on the lines of uh, uh, Project uh, Elephant, they started uh, uh, this Project Dolphins also, Project uh, Lions also. That was also announced by the Prime Minister. That's why I am uh, time and again saying to you, you, please listen to the speeches of the Prime Minister. Now it is very important. He is very proactive Prime Minister. He is not uh, unlike the previous kind of uh, Prime Minister. Only Indira Gandhi was uh, comparable and he is more active than Indira Gandhi. So you have to listen to his speeches like uh, so he announced, he had announced this uh, 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 project uh, Dolphins. Immediately our uh, Prakash Javadekar sir, uh, who is the environment minister and uh, he has convened one meeting and uh, he has identified uh, certain places. I will discuss with you elaborately. Now without seeing, I am saying everything from my mind, I am talking to you. Uh, Operation Dolphin. Uh, they have formulated the procedures where they have to uh, start like uh, uh, Chilika Lake in Odisha it is there already dolphins were there are there 
so they may do it as a big project in order to attract the tourists and in order to protect the environment surroundings and uh, by that uh, they will get me get foreign exchange also so uh, so far it is a neglected area silica lake in odisha uh, though the dolphins are there and uh, red crabs are also there so they may attract the uh, tourists and they will get uh, good uh, foreign exchange also one is uh, uh, they may ask uh, in which year the operation uh, this uh, project dolphin was started we should know that and uh, by that time of your examination certain places will also be identified then they will ask uh, where the project dolphin started they you have to say that this uh, these are the places they have uh, started all operation uh, this uh, project dolphin then project uh, lion also he had announced so what are the differences or distinctions between uh, project tiger and project uh, lion and project uh, elephant and uh, project uh, these um, uh, dolphins important features places benefits they they would announce and whenever uh, it is announced uh, we should uh, know and we should uh, keep in our, in our mind then uh, uh, last week uh, the central government announced one uh, nagarik wooden scheme nagarik wooden scheme uh, which uh, uh, under uh, wherein they will start airports or aid strips or uh, small uh, air connectivity things uh, in uh, 78 uh, cities 78 cities of uh, northeast hilly areas and interior areas what is that nagarik udan scheme so 78 uh, cities will be connected uh, uh, located at the uh, hilly areas northeast uh, and uh, interior areas like that uh, uh, these railways also started uh, by 2020 they want to uh, have uh, the energy supply of 30 percent uh, from their solar power projects 30 percent of power supply from their uh, uh, captive power plant captive means uh, what if we have our own uh, power station which is useful for our uh, energy purposes that is known as captive power plant so that kind of captive power plants they want to uh, start one third uh, one third of energy supply will be met by solar power plants for indian railways by 2030 Atmanir Bhar Bharat, we discussed uh, then Vande Bharat mission, we discussed Sagar Setu, we discussed then uh, you see some natural disasters always uh, happen here and there. Natural disasters, for example, in Idukki district, Rajamala place of uh, Kerala, Rajamala place, Kanam then uh, Idukki district there were uh, landslides the landslides happened and uh, the tea gardens there were uh, they are uh, there were uh, tea gardens the coolies the laborers from the neighboring tamil nadu came and uh, they were staying in the shelters small tents making shifts uh, making uh, tents uh, uh, of uh, these uh, tea gardens they were uh, killed because of that uh, landslides 53 people were killed see 53 is not important tamil people died is not important but they will ask recently there were landslides and uh, many people died uh, in which area locate and they will give in the map they will give in the map and they may ask you in Kerala or in Tamil Nadu, people may confuse because Tamil people, so they may locate it uh, in Tamil Nadu out of confusion. But uh, they are Tamils, uh, they were Tamils, but the incident happened in uh, Kerala. 
so one we should be ready with all kinds of uh, that uh, full news and uh, these floods happened in bengal assam continuously every year there are floods which districts are affected by the they may give the map which of the following districts are affected by the continuous floods in the bihar or assam or in bengal or in uh, eastern uttar pradesh or in nepal also they will ask we have to identify they may give more number of districts then they will ask which num uh, which 1 uh, to 3 are affected or 3 4 6 are affected or 1 3 5 are affected which of the following is the right answer which of the above one is the right answer like that we have to identify natural disasters are also see from the point of natural disasters first the name of the tributaries the name of the distributaries the name of the hills the name of the mountains the anthropological features of the people if some tribes are living there their names and uh, such a kind of things uh, we should learn from that news natural disaster which forces are used for rescue operations uh, cdrf or ndrf as a marxist uh, as i said now we should uh, see everything from marx point of view how we will get marx so from this uh, natural disaster okay certain uh, these uh, these rivers are there these rivers are there these uh, hills are there these kind of people are living there these are the districts affected that's how we have to learn uh, from the current affairs like that uh, uh, recently during lockdown also many tribes of uh, andaman and nicobar islands they came into news jarawa tribe and santals uh, uh, there is one tribe uh, which is uh, at the verge of extinction at the verge of extinction there is one tribe and we will discuss about all these tribes also in the future about each and every state about each and every uh, kind of uh, people which are important from the current affairs we will discuss and uh, uh, i will let you know uh, my email address also then you can uh, ask your doubts issues questions uh, and anything whenever i found uh, i find time i will try to reply not all times not all questions certainly i am saying not all questions which are frivolous questions i will simply ignore out of my experience i know which is important and which is not important certain people they want to try or test try test the teacher um, which that questions are not uh, will not be entertained only important questions important from the exam examination point of view and which are uh, going to be benefited to that student and uh, to the whole community as uh, uh, this uh, listeners community means is listeners whosoever are listening to me all they should be benefited from uh, those questions then i will try to reply them so coming back to the point of natural disasters that's how we should learn the current affairs from the natural disasters it i repeat that uh, floods are happened in assam west bengal bihar eastern uttar pradesh nepal also so what are the rivers what are the tributaries what are the distributaries what are the districts affected what are those places those are important like landslides which district which place which were the like uh, that uh, group of people affected how the in the rescue measures that is important like that uh, we should uh, know the current affairs and uh, then these awards uh, are also very important every time this award that award uh, see at the state level examination they may ask uh, small small awards also but at national exam we should know only these very Uh, awards of national significance and importance uh, recently there were arjun awards dronacharya awards he who got in which uh, sport like uh, rohit sharma got 
सॉरी Rohit Sharma has got a uh, Arjuna award in um, cricket. Like that, uh, one I will give you with the facts also. See, in the first uh, class or generally also, I would like to give you the clear picture. It's like as the chain is probably saying, uh, you teach your uh, child uh, how to catch the fish, then he will catch. I don't want to give you the. Uh, uh, fish to your hand once you eat it and and it will be of no use in the future i am telling you how to read the news or how to read everything from current affairs point of view from the upsc point of view if it is uh, gone into your mind now like you will get easily and uh, you can read everything like who is who who got the arjun award in cricket that is important you learn it but i am saying how to memorize yourself how to how to see the current uh, the news from the current affairs examination point of view so award is in the arjun award arjun award but they projected in the news only four uh, one is hockey one is cricket one is para olympian and another one so these uh, things we will learn normally and we will forget the other people ups will ask these people the forgotten people so we should be ready to learn about those people also and uh, dronacharya awards who got uh, dronacharya award and what is the difference between dronacharya award and rajiv kel ratna award and arjun award see i am teaching everything from the point of view of the first timers the second timers and the seniors they may feel that these are very basic facts why he is teaching no i am not teaching to you already you know it and you will feel that uh, you know everything and uh, these are uh, mere repetition i am teaching it to the first timers and uh, let their foundation to be very stronger and uh, let the wind comes let the um like uh, tsunami comes uh, their foundation if it is very strong na like uh, if not this year or the next year they may get in such a way i would like to lay their foundation in a very strong manner so awards are also very important for upsc national and international importance awards are we have to remember we have to mug up we have to memorize gandhi peace prize nehru international peace award nobel prizes then bharat ratna award uh, very rarely they may ask a padma vibhushan match the following with padma vibhushan or padma bhushan uh, with their names sometimes uh, the foreigners uh, will also be given the awards for example long time back uh, in our childhood uh, nelson mandela was given bharat ratna like that uh, uh, even um, uh, one person who was the person behind uh, this uh, john ri uh, that uh, mahatma gandhi national rural employment uh, act uh, he was the brain the person who were who so ever uh, they got uh, this uh, our national awards our national titles they may be important not our if some foreigners they got awards bharat ratna or padma vibhushan or padma bhushan or padma shri there are fair chances to ask about them and uh, before i forget another very important thing this preliminary examination started by the upsc in 1979 upsc started preliminary examination in order to filter the number of candidates before that the exam examination was directly the mains examination so very few people were appearing it was okay ias paper is different ifs paper is different ips paper is different central services paper is different and everybody can appear for every examination and whosoever get got a 
which service they used to join and uh, they continue in the, uh, that service. But uh, because of uh, number of candidates are increasing day of, uh, year after year, they started one uh, filtration examination, filter examination. In fact, uh, the civil services preliminary examination is only the filter examination. It is nothing to do with the, the main examination. So, 1979 onwards, however frivolous it may be, appears to be, however simple it may appears to be, you take all previous year's question papers kindly and try to read, study, mug up, remember, keep in your mind. Just buy one uh, Satish Brothers book. Satish Brothers book, this much large book with a very uh, cheap printed uh, book. You can buy it anywhere, either in Pune or Mumbai or uh, Delhi or Hyderabad. Satish Brothers, its name Satish Brothers. One side Hindi, one side English. It looks like uh, very cheap and uh, not so important, but is very important. You you read, you buy that book, you read all questions. Don't feel that it may not be important. I know everything. No, no, nobody knows everything. Everybody knows only a few things. Finally, one percent luck takes them to service. Otherwise whosoever uh, with all their hard work uh, with the 99% uh, are there outside because that 1% luck is not there that is that is different that is uh, none of our business eh? so you buy that book and read and um, try to solve all that starting from 1979 so 79 to 2020 that 21 years, this 20, 41 uh, question papers you will get of general studies. 41 question papers, at least two or three will be repeated. If uh, God favors you, two or three. And moreover, some three important questions are there. Always now, if uh, the maximum number of questions are for 150. Without these uh, two or three, there is no question paper. One is writs. Article 32 or Article 226 of Indian Constitution deals with the, the writs. That is, uh, what is that? Uh, habeas corpus, madamus, prohibition, certiorari, all that uh, five or for is uh, writs are there about that they will certainly ask at least till before 2007 we used to have that kind of uh, trend or tendency or uh, that uh, kind of mode of examination one is writs article 32 or 226 dealt by this supreme court or uh, high court second thing is Planning Commission. Now it is known as Niti Aayog. You know that uh, expansion of Niti Aayog and from which date and what is the composition, who is the chairman of that and who is vice chairman of that uh, and who are the members, uh, not names uh, but designation wise, how many members are there, what are their functions, that is very important. And uh, either Finance Commission or UPSC it will appear certainly all these are uh, three questions so damn sure one is uh, writ second one is niti io the third one is either finance commission or uh, the upsc they will ask certainly these uh, three questions so you get ready and uh, prepare well on these uh, three topics uh, either from current perspective or uh, from the stock uh, knowledge like uh, composition numbers uh, for example uh, what is habeas corpus uh, what is 32 what is article 226 uh, like that 
and the niti ayog and either finance commission how many finance commissions uh, are were constituted so far what is the present uh, finance commission number who is the chairperson who are the members whether it has announced any devolution package package so far if it is announced what are the important features like that uh, and uh, stock general knowledge first chairman of first uh, finance commission the, fin the chairman of first finance commission second third fourth fifth like that they will ask then upsc the article dealing with what what uh, who are uh, not uh, eligible to become the members the questions they will ask the questions so broadly at the outset uh, we learn today how to learn the current affairs to see the current affairs from our surroundings from our news from social media from the speeches of the prime minister or the president or the governor or the chief minister ah, and uh, moreover uh, the president uh, gives a speech in the parliament joint sessions also that is also that reflects the policy of the government of the day that also uh, dealt with important uh, policies programs functions success in uh, where it is uh, the government is successful and what is the projection of the vision of the government that is also very important so we learned uh, how to get the current affairs from the speeches of the important uh, uh, persons of this country and uh, then uh, how to read the newspapers and uh, how to uh, from natural disasters also how we can get uh, the current affairs from uh, stock general knowledge how the general knowledge is formed part of the general studies and uh, current affairs and how it is uh, the foundation of the general studies and uh, during our uh, marks by our uh, attitude behavior by visiting uh, important places historical cultural religious places so from our examination point of view so all these things uh, we learned uh, today in uh, ask bharti people to create one email uh, with my name and uh, with the bharti name uh, so that uh, it can be announced to the students uh, they can send uh, important doubts issues what is there in their mind and i will try to reply them in the next session whenever uh, I, uh, it is feasible and viable to me and uh, importance of uh, map also i told you importance of uh, importance of map i told you yes that is very important so whenever uh, you are studying uh, on the table you need to have this uh, either uh, these newspapers uh, this uh, radio and uh, the map besides uh, the previous year's question papers so okay friends thank you and uh, we will meet again in the next session next session uh, i will come out uh, with the more facts details uh, in the meanwhile you can uh, set your uh, doubts uh, issues uh, for any clarification Thank you and I thank the, the Bharti also for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you one and all.